Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the summer edition of Mama Loves. I've got so many things to show you today because this has been a bit of a sort of epic backlog of stuff from the last couple of months that I want to show you. So let us get on with it. All right, first up I'm going to talk about Mummy and Me t-shirts. I love them. And um, I've been sent this really awesome little matching Mummy and Me t-shirt set from Virgo 7. So as you can see, it's right here and it says, I wear my wages. Yeah, go mama. Um, and here is the gorgeous um, children's, I wear my mum's wages tea. So mama, if you're feeling a bit sort of independent and wanna rock it with your Mummy and Me t-shirt, go check those out. All right, next up, I don't know about you, but as a mum, I find it so difficult to actually have the time to um, moisturize. I know, first world problem. So um, I recently come across this amazing um, wet skin um, moisturizer from um, Sanctuary, and it is amazeballs, because basically all you do is after you shower, bust this out, slather all over, quick towel dry and you're done and um you know you're basically all moisturized it happens in a minute because you know the minute you get out of that shower someone starts screaming at you you're not going to have time to moisturize it's hard working and it smells amaze balls and i just i can't live without it so that's that all right next up we are going to be talking about parenting by strengths i've been uh, reading this amazing book by um dr leah waters um called the strength switch and i think it's so easy as parents to get you know really wound up and sort of you know look at our children's flaws but this book actually turns parenting on its head and encourages you to parent them by strengths and i've been doing this recently and i have to say it's been a massive turnaround for us at home and um, both in uh, terms of my daughter's behavior but in terms of the overall vibe because once you start seeing your um, children's strengths as opposed to their weaknesses um i just gotta say there's just so many sort of positive knock-on effects so go check this book out all right next up um, what do you like to drink for tea? Well as, well, as well as my normal sort of teas and coffees, I do love a cup of pucker. Now my pucker tea of choice is cinnamon, which I'm drinking here right now, as you can see. Um, uh, and it comes in this box. But did you know they actually have a specific range for women and um, those who are pregnant and um, those who are breastfeeding? So um, I just wanted to quickly give them a bit, bit of love here. So we've got Womankind, which is a mix of herbs to help sort of, you know, make you feel a bit more like harmonious and balanced, both in body, uh, mind and body. I clearly need a cup of that right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so mamas, mamas, mamas to be uh, new mamas. I wanted to talk about the mother kind baby and mother kind pregnancy, which are a blend of herbs specifically designed to support you through those times. And I remember being, you know, pregnant and breastfeeding, thinking, oh my God, like, what am I gonna drink? Like, I can't have a normal cup of tea. Well, not only are these lovely tasting teas, but they also help support you um, and baby through that time. So do check those out. Right, um, I've got the same things to talk about, so I'm a bit like, oh, like, what's next? All right. Do you feel tired most of the time? Hands up, mamas. Do you feel tired most of the time? I struggle with this massively. Anyway, so I have been checking out um, Pharmaton um, Vitality Capsules, which are a special um, blend of multivitamins and minerals, um, including ginseng, which um, basically help to make you feel a little bit more revived and less tired every day. I've been taking these every day for the last month, and I have to say, I'm definitely feeling a little more peppy. So if you're just feeling a bit like, oh, I'm so so tired. Okay, all our mums, all, all us mums are tired, but if you're feeling just a little bit more tired than normal, I would definitely recommend checking those out. Right, where are we now? Okay, while we're talking about feeling tired, let's now talk about sleep. Sleep! I love my sleep. I'll do anything to get a good night's sleep. Um, whether I'm in my bed or traveling or whatever, I don't care. It's all about the sleep. So I have to talk about these amazeball eye masks from Nomad Design. <gasps> Oh, they're so good. Can I tell you why they're so good? Right, number one, they're funky. Number two, like check out this amazing kind of velvety um, underside they have. Like that goes on your eyes and you feel like you're in heaven. But the pièce de résistance of these is that they are packed full of lavender. So basically you can go to sleep while smelling lovely relaxing lavender. Beautiful. Right, um, so I'm looking at my notes in case you're wondering what, what I'm doing looking down here. So I've got so many things to get through. Okay, let's talk about 
nail cutting. How much do you hate cutting your children's nails? I find it so stressful because my daughter hates it and she's forever saying, it hurts, it hurts, ah! And I feel like I'm, you know, living on tenterhooks when I'm cutting her nails. But I was recently sent these amazing elephant nail scissors by Rubis and I was a bit like, whoa, they look a bit sort of like, you know, surgical. And I was, I have to admit, I was a little bit like, oh, I'm gonna be trying this out, is it okay? But these are amazing. I have to tell you now, not only do they come in a very funky elephant patch, but every time I've cut my daughter's nails with this, I have literally not heard a peep from her. It's like I'm not even cutting her nails. They have revolutionized nail cutting in our house. So I would highly recommend checking those out. Right. Um, Books. Let's talk books. I'm a big believer in using books to teach our children, um, you know, va values and morals and all sorts of lessons. And I'm loving this book, um, which is collaboration between the NSPCC and um, Faber. So I'm looking again. Too much to remember. Faber and Faber um, Publishing. It's called I Like Bees and I Don't Like Honey. And the whole sort of message behind it is it's okay not to like things. And it's okay to say you don't like things as a child. So it's a lovely teaching point. You know, children have to be encouraged to speak up, speak up when they don't like something because they need to have the confidence to do that, whether it's a kind of more everyday issue of something more serious. So more power to you, NSPCC and Faber and Faber for uh, putting that out. Um, right, next up, we are talking shoes. I've literally just come to um, summer holidays and realized that my daughter's shoes don't fit. But how on earth would I know that until she tells me? Well, I want to introduce you to these new shoes from Toezone, um, which basically put all that out of the equation because they have this really great sort of indication device on the soles, which basically tell you when their uh, feet are in the correct toe zone or if they're too small. So, um, hello. That really takes the sort of whole stress of, oh my goodness, your shoes are too tight and I didn't realise out of the whole equation. So, um, you know, these are a really cute pair of um, summer shoes that you can check out from Toe Zone. And then also they've got um, some lovely sort of back to school shoes such as these ones, which, you know, also have the sort of trademark measuring device underneath. Um, so I also have to mention that they are super comfy because they also have a um, uh, memory foam sort of um, insole inside. And so, you know, I, I really struggle with finding the right shoes for my daughter. She's got very narrow feet, but somehow, even though these are a universal fit, they are uber comfy and seem to fit her like a treat. So loving those. While we're talking about back to school, let's talk about labels. You can never have enough labels for school stuff or for any stuff actually, but why have boring labels when you can have something totally cute and customized for your, um, son or your daughter or whatever your little sproglet is. Um, so I wanna just um, show you these gorgeous little labels from Petit Fernand, which is a lovely, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, Petit Fernand. <laughs> sorry guys, <laughs> which is a lovely little French company um, who designed these gorgeous labels. Well, in fact, you design them for yourself. Um, you go onto the site, look, I wanna show you, these are what I did for my daughter. You go onto the site, you choose the colors, you choose the design. I chose a really cute, um, puppy design because she's mad about puppies and you know it's all customized for her and um, so I put her name in pink and I chose the background color and it's so lovely and you know you can choose um, the amounts you want I got a massive booklet because we are starting reception in September and gonna need a load of these so you know don't sell out on boring labels go and check these guys out right last but not least it may be summer I just want to check is it definitely last stop but least yes it is um it may be summer but did you know you can have a snowball fight in the summer and seeing as it's the summer holidays and we're all wondering what to do with our kids what better than to have a snowball fight and so I just want to show you this um lovely little snowball uh, making kit um from uh simple kids um it's super, super easy. It's got this um, sort of snow powder in. You just add water as per the instructions, give it a stir, leave it set, make some snowballs. And we have had so much fun having snowball fights outside while it's summer. So if you step for something to do over the summer, go check it out. All right, well, oh my goodness, that is it. That is it for the summer edition of Mama Loves. So many things to show you. Um, I'm going to include all the information below on everything that I've um, showed you today, um, where you can find it um, and any other vital info. Um, hope you enjoyed this um, vlog, guys. Um, enjoy the summer, should I say, survive the summer and um, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll be back after the summer with more in September, hopefully. <laughs> all right, survive until then, mamas. Bye.